Jory and I came to the grocery store. To get what, Jory? Apple juice for Jada. Right? Is that what you came for? Apple juice for Jada? I guess one. What a good brother. <laughs> I really don't know what happened to my Nikon Coolpix A900, the camera that I use for the cooking channel because last night I set it to charge and I thought it was fully charged and as I started to use it this morning to record a show, I didn't even get a whole lot of footage when the battery went dead. So right now I'm using my old Nikon. The reason that I upgraded from this old Nikon to the new Nikon is because this one has like some failures like for instance sometimes it'll show my eyes blurry no matter what I do I can't get out the blur I hope it's not blurry right now guys sometimes it won't come on when you press the power button because I, I just think it got old and um, yeah sometimes it just doesn't work great so I upgraded to that one and that one works great but I don't know why it didn't charge last night this is like the second or the third time that has happened so let me tell you really quickly how I feel today. I feel a lot better than yesterday, but I'm not at 100%. I do know that the symptoms that I was suffering yesterday was because of the flu shot, because last night when I went to bed, I went to go look it up. When we went to um, the funeral services for Alex's mom, I felt perfectly fine there. And when I got home, I ate one slice of my Belizean Creole bun. And after that, I got so sick. And I thought it was just like stomach issues, but I think it was the flu shot issues. So I went to bed, woke up in the morning, felt kind of laggy, thought it was my allergies. Later on in the evening, my neck right here started the Charlie horse. No pain, it would just like do a muscle spasm and then stop. I'm like, what in the hell's going on? Is this shoulder starting to you know, go out again? Remember, this is my bad shoulder. But this felt fine. I didn't feel like I, you know, stretch, strained this or stretched this or whatever. And so finally, um, after I vlogged for you guys and told you that I had that headache where it didn't come with pain, but I had the blurred vision all day, I went to go Google it, okay? <laughs> now, you, know, you guys know why I say Google, right? My sister knows some old lady that can't say Google. She says Google. So I went to go Google it. And it said, if you are allergic to MSG, do not take the flu shot, y'all. You know I have issues with MSG. So here I am avoiding all the foods on the street not to get MSG. And then, bam, it hit me smack in the middle of my arm when they gave me that flu shot. You know, Jory was the one that convinced me to take that flu shot because he's like, Mom, you don't want to get sick this year. You're going to lose your voice in January. You can't do your show, yada, yada. <sighs> I've never taken the flu shot because I don't trust what they put in it. And makes it even worse now. I'm never going to take it again. So it's already in me. What can I do? I drank a lot of water trying to flush that MSG out. No wonder I was so darn thirsty. And it's made with a whole bunch of mess more. They say that they house it in hen's eggs. Even if you get the dead virus, that's where they house it. Ew, gross. You know, even though we eat the hen's eggs, I don't want stuff to be housed in it. Anyways. Joshua says he'll take it again in the future. He don't care because it helped him from not getting sick. I think Joe will probably take it. Joe definitely will take it. I don't know about me and Jada though because Jada has the Charlie horse in her neck too. That's how I knew that it was the flu shot because how can two people in the same household have the same symptom, right? So anyways, today I'm doing, we don't have any car issues today. Joe fixed the Tahoe. Uh, Jada's car seems to be fixed. We're claiming it. And so far he is working on... Um, servicing the transmission on the Explorer. He really wants to do that because sometimes when we buy a vehicle, certain things that present themselves, Joe's like, you know what, let me just go ahead and fix this before we have any trouble. So again, if I sell the Tahoe, I'll keep this Explorer. I'll just go ahead and get like a cheap paint job or something on it in the near future. Not right away, in the near future. Anyways, um, I'm taping a show right now on deviled eggs. I love deviled eggs, but not all deviled eggs. I cannot stand deviled eggs that has paprika sprinkled on the top of it. It is so gross. I hate the smell and the taste of paprika. I don't even want to put powdered ricotta on the top. I prefer to put cayenne on the top of the deviled eggs, okay? If you want something for color. So I'm really doing um, a different type of deviled eggs. I'm not going to use mayonnaise. You, I think you guys are going to love it when you see it. And for these deviled eggs, I want to have like a meatloaf. So I'm going to do like a turkey meatloaf and maybe some mashed potatoes. But I don't want just plain Jane mass mashed potatoes. So I'm going to go look up some recipes online. Jada has a cheesy mass mash. Why can't I say mash today? A cheesy mashed potato that she does. I might end up doing that one. But if I find like a really jazzed up recipe online, I'll do a different kind. So I think by the time I'm done with these three items to make one meal for us today, I'll have three videos. I'm not going to be putting a whole bunch of stuff in one video anymore because that almost killed me. I shouldn't say anymore. I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe in the long future. 
that almost killed me when I did the five toaster oven meals and it didn't get a whole lot of views. I'm like, I'm so tired of putting up these videos and get 300 views. It sucks. The only growth I have is, you know, the subscription base that's growing steadily at about five to 600 subscribers a month. And I'm very grateful for that. But as far as the views are concerned, the videos get like 300 views. The ones that do the best are like when I'm duplicating something from a restaurant, like when I duplicated the um, Popeye's meal, that has a lot of views and even the mukbangs have more views but we haven't done a mukbang in a while because we haven't had any money to go buy food on the street if i have 20 bucks in my pocket you best believe i'm gonna go buy items to cook because that will go a week rather than spend 20 dollars to go buy food on the street and then that's done in one meal you see, you see my thought process i mean this is truly the bear pantry kitchen um, I really hope that this the quick turnarounds, you know, we had two cars that turn around quickly. I hope that we continue with that quick turnaround. But I do know the nature of the beast will dictate that maybe we don't, we don't have all these quick turnarounds. So um, I want to quickly finish my shows so that uh, I can possibly go see Osda today. I really feel really awful that we haven't gone to see, see him. I think Wednesday coming will make two weeks. And I told Joe, he's going to forget us in a little while. And Joe says, no, he'll never forget us. He's got his right mind. He just goes and comes now and again, but he's not lost. You know what I mean? So anyways, let me save my battery power on this one because I might need to swap out the battery for this and go finish up my show and then I'll be back at you guys. And of course, of course, when I'm taping my beautiful show, Joe wants water. I want water too. Can I have some of your water? Can I have some of your water? I need some too. Because when you pour it, it's special. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. So as soon as I can be done with the show, we're going to go see Osley. Right, Joe? When I'm done with the show, we're going to go see Osley? Huh? Thank you, sweetheart. See how kind he is. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm good. It's too cold to take the whole thing now, but I was thirsty. It gets so thirsty when I do this show. I guess it's the light. Let me go ahead and prepare what I'm preparing. I'm going to be doing a turkey meatloaf, y'all. I hope this is enough. Huh? I'm going to be having turkey meatloaf. You eat too much beef. Ready for you to fill me. Whenever you're ready for me, I'm ready for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's how we roll. <laughs> Let me continue my show, guys. This is what Osley does with the wheelchair now. He pushes it, guys. <laughs> And she's not too bad now. But that's how today is done. That's what I just did to tell you. As they walked all the way out here. They're struggling. They get strong, eh? They? Man, I don't walk this in there. Walk alone without nothing. Hey. Okay. Pretty sure we put on a boxing glove and jump around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was exercising the foot. They, they are a, a, a film. Uh, they put on the big TV in the room over there, and everybody going exercise. That one was a lot of foot. When I done, my foot was tired. Mm -hmm. You take out the stuff out of your stomach? Eh? Oh, man, now, if it, that was still in there, I couldn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a lot of pain there. Eh? Because mm -hmm. it come out to here, and the lung come there. Wait, then take the thing out of your stomach? Long time. Oh, wow. I mean, I think I would keep this thing in if I have pain so long. When I, when I get pain for anything, I don't Ah, you eat good. What that they, what that get, for the yeah, NFL? that's what they say. Uh-huh. The doctor tell me he had to, they had to take it out because he said, when he come and visit me, the one the doctor would have come here, he said they have to take it out because you don't need it. Mm -hmm. What you have it there for? Mm -hmm. When you feel pain, you come out right, you just got a little, little, little hole. Okay. Right okay. That one heal up. You don't heal up. And she don't put no more plaster on this, you see. So heal up faster. I was just saying, don't put no more plaster. <laughs> You know what a plaster, right, Joe? Yeah. What a plaster? Band-aid. Band That's yeah, the way the Band -Aid British plaster. say it. Bla plaster. <laughs> yep. As they was doing a show today on turkey meat, loaf, mashed potato, and devil eggs. Yeah. But I make the devil eggs with avocado instead of um, mayonnaise. Oh. <laughs> I hate mayonnaise too bad. Do, I don't do, like mayonnaise. 
And my sister don't like it neither. Husband? Is your daughter from Utah for long later? No, she can't come. She going to school and walking. Nine times seven, 63. It was nine weeks. Yeah, she said I didn't say nothing. And she said when I left the hospital, the doctors and them tell she I will never walk. Mm-hmm. It's true. That's what I say. I hate this phone. See, that, that's them. But the problem is there's some... I think it's my cosmic thing. African, I got Indian. What you want back when I do your DNA? Yeah, you come up with that. You got European, African, mm. you got Asian, mm. and you got Jew. Because Joe Mane Bishop. And even here in this country, most bishop is Jew. I bet you that's how come up with Joe. You must say that. Yeah, most of them. Because Joe's grandpa is Barbadian, you know. What? Bajan? Uh huh, Bajan. Yeah. Uh huh. Joe's grandpa, Bajan. In here, in here, um, where are you from? Your grandpa, Edward? Edward Bishop. That's why your grandpa name. Joe favor your grandpa because Joe favor your ma. Right, babe? Yep. Joe worked hard yesterday trying to put an actuator in the Tahoe for the AC. Yeah, mm. uh -huh. They stopped the little machine and open the door. Right. Open the vent door. But you have to take down the whole dashboard. I have to take down the whole dashboard to get this one up. Ah, the, the new vehicle, I mean, you see this one, you see work, you know. I want to tell you work. I used to fix car, put in transmission, take out transmission. All them kind of stuff for myself. No, I don't try nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Never radiator. Because mm -hmm. right now when you take out the radiator, do you know you have to um, set it? Mm -hmm. You don't just take out the radiator no more and slap one back in? No, no? <laughs> you have to set it there. Uh -huh. You have to set too much air inside the radiator. Oh Lord, have mercy. Like then do all of that to make the mechanic make money, will mm -hmm. say? <laughs> Asley teaching so us about the car business. Every time we come here, we learn something new from Asley. But it's all plastic. Cover the whole chair with a big thing. I'm gonna get in there and take it out. So they are naked in the bathroom. Leslie, <laughs> we come to the man. The man only want man beer, huh? You don't yeah. want no woman beer? No, he tell them to a big meeting. You know? Ah, so what you tell the man? What do you want to tell the man? No, I want to tell him say, man, say, man, listen, he's a fool. <laughs> you are man beer, you. What do you want to do? The woman ain't must say nothing. Cause you sit down. We're leaving Osley now. The camera is showing brighter than it actually is. It's a lot darker by natural, <laughs> by natural sight. Osley said something very sweet at the end. He said, I just feel like no matter where I'm locked up, even if it's prison, you two would come and visit me. <laughs> and I had to laugh because um, we're like that, you know? We, we had a, a loved one that was locked up in prison for 18 months and we visited every other week every other week like clockwork so um, I, I guess that's that's just our personality anyways I'm gonna wrap this one up now because when I go home I have a lot of editing waiting for me and so if you guys like this video thumbs it up please comment and don't forget to subscribe you all see I'm growing right 611 subscribers here at the vlog yay <laughs> <laughs> I gain about 600 subscribers at my cooking channel every month and that feels good but it feels even better when I gain even one here at the vlog because because I know I have the opportunity to make another friend you know I'll see you guys tomorrow night though bye yeah, daddy, you know, he kimono. Yeah,